Hello, welcome back to my Thomcraft 2015 Let's Play series. So, in the last episode, I told you I was going to go do some mining, and I've done a ton of mining so far. I was able to find the Certus Quartz I need to make my favorite early game invention from Applied Energistics, the Grindstone. It's a very early game or doubling mechanic. It requires no power. You have to manually turn a wooden crank to get it to go. So it's slow, and I think they've changed it in 1.7 for AE2 to where at times you don't always get double the ore. So it's definitely very early, um, and I understand if they've changed it, that kind of makes sense a little bit. Um, but... Uh, Whatever. I like the grindstone. We're going to make one of those. So the grindstone is from Applied Energistics, and it requires Certus Quartz, a wood gear from Buildcraft, some stone, and some cobblestone. To make a Buildcraft wooden gear, it's simply four sticks like that. And then we can shift-click the rest of it, wooden gear, Three pieces of stone, two cobblestone, our three Certus Quartz. There we go, a quartz grindstone from Applied Energistics. To make it work, we need a crank, and that's just a bunch of sticks. And you can break the crank, but, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cheap to make another one, so it's not really a big deal. Shift right click to place it if it's trying to open the grindstone interface. Alright, so let's see what kind of ores we have. I might want to double. Um, probably going to start out with iron. So here's that iron gravel ore. Put that in there. Shift click it in there or just, you know, pick it up and put it in there. And then right click, hold down the crank. Eight rotations is good for one ore. So I put eight pieces of ore in there, so we should get 16, but I think I've seen it randomized just a little bit to where you may not always get 16. I've never seen it do more than double, but um, maybe that's a possibility as well. I haven't looked into uh, Applied Energistics 2. It just came out for 1.7, and I have not played with it at all. I was doing a 1.7 play uh, on a server, but... I never got as far as doing anything with apply energistics. And once the crank stops moving, that's a good time for you to stop cranking. Uh, I'm going to sleep the night. Uh, there's zombies, and I have noticed a tendency for the villagers to open doors for zombies or forget to go inside or... I don't know. They have uh, pretty poor self-preservation instincts at times, it seems, so... I definitely want to be light in the village. This is a nice early game home base, but I definitely don't want to stay here long term. So, okay, we've got iron dust from IC2. That's the first thing in the ore dictionary, I believe, is iron dust. Not that it matters, so get us some coal, and if you've never used... Or double mechanics, dust can be smelted into ingots in a furnace. So, there we go. We're going to smelt that up, and we're going to get iron ingots, just as if we had smelted the iron ore in a vanilla furnace. So, I really like the grindstone because it's pretty simple. Um, you can find quartz pretty close to the surface, usually, if you find some surface caves. I went and found one of the AE2 Sky Stone blocks, and that had a couple pieces of quartz, and I found another one in a surface cave. I found a ravine not too far off where I did most of my mining. I got a lot of stuff, but I didn't get any gold. But my goal this episode is to go get some gold from that ravine, and then we're going to start on Thomcraft. So that's my next thing I want to do. And to get down in the ravine... Uh, since I'm in a desert, I got a bunch of sand. Sand falls down with gravity, so I, then I dig up the sand to get down there. But there is a, an item from Open Blocks called a rope ladder, which uh, might be a bit more useful or at least easier to use. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of those. 
it's pretty simple string and stick so I think I have string in here yep oh not there though Oh, no, I was wrong. It was the other way around. I suppose I may as well use any eye and shift click because that just makes it easier. All right. So you get eight of these, and they drop pretty far. Um, let's just run over real quick to the ravine that I found, and I'll show you how the rope ladder works. All right, I think I want to put away the rest of this stuff real quick just before I run off there. Keep the rope butter, I'll need that. I'm also cooking up some glass that we'll need for Thomcraft eventually. Let's see, where is my ravine? Okay, it's over here, so it's pretty much to the west of the desert. I didn't expect to find much in the desert. This is a weird mechanic, I have noticed. All the villagers want to cram in this one tiny hut. And uh, I think they're being murdered because I keep finding emeralds on the ground. Now, there are tons of villagers. So I'm not worried right now, but I really need to get away from these villagers and leave them be so they don't die of their own stupidity. They're just... Uh, unfortunately, they're just not bright enough to live when I'm around, so I need to safeguard them a little bit better. All right, so yeah, here is the ravine that I found, and I started digging a path down, but it didn't really go as far down as I needed it to go. I was digging around the walls, but uh, really didn't get where I needed to go. So Here's where I put the sand, and so I'm going to put the rope ladder here instead. Or I'll put the rope ladder maybe here. So there we go. Oh, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Huh. Zombies also have no self preservation instinct. Ah, oh, not telecreepers. Alright, where am I? Wow, I will never know where I am now because stupid telecreepers. All right, I'm going to go figure out where I am. Be right back. All right, so I managed to get back to where I was digging straight up. Fortunately, you know, it's a ravine, so I knew if I dug straight up, I would eventually get out. So I know, don't dig straight up generally, but uh, I, I, I risked it. All right, so I've set up my rope ladder, and here we are. If I go down, I can see that uh, it didn't go quite to the floor. So looks like I need a few more rope ladders than I have. So that's unfortunate, but uh, oh, and there are zombies down here too. So, I'll need to make a few more rope ladders than I had. I thought I saw a dire wolf just kind of went down all the way to the floor. Maybe they have changed the recipe or the uh, mechanics of the rope ladder a little bit. Uh, in any event, there's plenty of sand to get me back upstairs. So, that's how the rope ladder works. It goes pretty far. I mean, that was just eight of them. I don't think that just went eight blocks, but maybe that was just eight blocks. I'm not really sure. So... We'll see. I'll get back upstairs and make more rope wires. But that's that's the essence of how it works. I just need to make more of them. I wondered why it made eight, and now I know. I think the recipe... Let's see here. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it's not eight, it's really close to eight, so... All right, still, that's... Um... Hmm... I don't know. I'm, I'm no longer convinced it's any cheaper than ladders, really. But uh, it's an alternative mechanic to getting down into a ravine like this, you know, different than using a waterfall or, you know, whatever. All right, I'm going to go mine down in the ravine, get some gold, and uh, I'll be back once I've got stuff to start Thomcraft with. 
see you in a flash. All right, I'm back from my mining trip, and I was able to find the gold we'll need to get started with Thomcraft. So one of the first things you need to start Thomcraft is a Thominomicon. I was lucky enough to find one in the village. In fact, I found three, but you only need one, so I left the others where they were. So if you weren't lucky enough to stumble upon one, you can craft it using a wand and a bookshelf. And the Thominomicon shows you how to make a wand, although it's pretty simple. But, of course, if you didn't have one, you might not know. Right-click on the Thominomicon when it's on your icon bar, and it will open up and show you all kinds of things about Thomcraft. You can click on any of these circles and learn about stuff. Some things tell you that you need extra stuff, like, I can't click on this, missing research required. I haven't done the research to get whatever this is. Uh, I might be able to do advanced node tapping, but I would need scribing tools and paper to get a research note to research advanced node tapping. So Thomcraft is largely about, you know, not so much magic, but about how the world works. And according to the mod author, the world works according to magic or this Thomcraft stuff. So, you do research about the world around you, figure out how it works, and then you can do new things. So, you're not so much a wizard as maybe an alchemist? I don't know. But that's the way you progress in Thomcraft. So, uh, there are lots of tabs on your Thominomicon to talk about the different things in Thomcraft. You may have more or fewer tabs depending on which mods you have installed. Now I'm using the Direwolf 20 pack so it has things like Thomic Tinkerer and uh, Magic Bees and I think this is actually part of Thomcraft proper but uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, uh, the different tabs, you can click on them to learn about different things, but there are a few tabs that you're going to focus on in the beginning. Basic information, thaumaturgy, alchemy, artifice, and golemancy. And we'll get to them all in time, but uh, basic information talks about the thaumonomicon, research, knowledge fragments, aspects of magic, there's all kinds of useful information. And really, everything you need to know for how to play Thomcraft is in here, but it does require that you research, you know, do a lot of stuff. And honestly, that's not for everyone, so that's why I make these videos. I know it was helpful for me to have some place to start, but I want to learn a little bit about you know, it myself, too. So I don't want it just to be shown to me. I want to learn some things myself. But getting started, I feel I'd like a tutorial on that. So hopefully I will help you out with that, and you can get started on your own Thomcraft journey. So uh, since I have a Thaumonomicon, I can go into Thaumaturgy, and it will show us how to make a wand. A wand is made with iron caps and sticks. That's your first wand you can make. A stick and two iron caps and a crafting table will get you a basic wand. Uh, iron caps is a helmet pattern with iron nuggets or iron ore berries from Tinker's Construct if you happen to have Tinker's Construct installed. Um, so, let's go make some iron wand caps. We need two of them, one for each end of our wand. And then we need a stick in the middle and the caps on the end, and there we are, an iron capped wooden wand. And you can make that even if you didn't have a Thaumonomicon, and you'd have to if you didn't have one, because you need a wand to turn a bookshelf into a Thaumonomicon. So if you didn't have a Thaumonomicon, if you didn't find one in the world, Right-click using your wand on a bookshelf, it will change it into a Thaumonomicon. In fact, it even shows you that here. Right-click on a bookshelf. And it tells you, yeah, simply use your wand on a bookshelf placed in the world. So, if I hadn't found a Thaumonomicon, uh, I would have made the wand and then gone to the library in town and used their bookshelf. 
Um, I saw cows nearby, but, you know, I didn't feel like making books anyway. Quite I didn't have to. It's easier. So now that we have these two tools, what else do we need to do? Well, I told you earlier that I made the wooden tools in the last episode because you need to scan things in Thomcraft. You scan things to learn what they're made up of. Everything in the Thomcraft universe is made up of different aspects. There are six primary aspects and then a number of other compound aspects which are made up of either primal aspects or compound aspects put together in some way. So you only start out knowing about the basic primal aspects. Air, water, fire, order, um, decay, and earth. And uh, they have, you know, different names in Thomcraft. Not sure if they're Latin-based or what, but Perdicio is entropy or decay, Terra for earth, Ignis for fire, Ordo for order, Aqua for water, and air for air, but, you know, spelled differently, so. So, we need to know about aspects, and we need to know about different items to figure out how we can do research, because research is how we progress in Thomcraft. You can see that most of the things on here are going to be dark or, you know, maybe glowing like this, flickering on and off to where I can... That tells me I could research it, but, um... I would need to do some research, and we'll get to research later. So, the first thing I want to make is on the thaumaturgy, sorry, the artifice tab. It's the thaumometer. This is the basic tool of thaumcraft. We need shards, gold ingots, and glass in a workbench, or a crafting table, basically. And any kind of shards will do. If you don't know what shards are, go to our basic information, click on the ores. These are shards. You're going to get them from the various infused stone you'll find in the game. And that's kind of a dark image there, but uh, that's fire infused stone. It's kind of like cobblestone, but it kind of glows with the color of whatever the stone is. And, you know, if you've got direwolf, you've got Wayla, it will show you it's infused stone. Uh, I don't have any right now. Maybe I'll show you at some point. But you're going to find these all over the place. So, because I'm near a desert, I happen to find a bunch of fire-infused stones, so I'm going to use fire shards. You can break them with a stone pickaxe, which is what I used. So, let's go ahead and make those that thermometer. There we go. The basic tools of thomcraft. The thermometer, the wand, and the thermonomicon. So, basically, to learn about the world, we need to either do research and combine aspects, or we need to scan things. Now, scanning is easier, but you can't learn about something unless you know all of its component aspects. So, I can't scan just anything. Like, if I throw this carrot on the ground and right-click with my thaumonomicon, sorry, my thaumometer, on the right, it says, to understand this, you need to study plants. In other words, that's a clue for what I might need to research or study with my thermometer, but I can't scan carrots yet. I don't understand enough about the world to know how they work. Two things you should be able to scan right away are torches, coal, and I think cobblestone as well. So let's go ahead and scan those three things. I will toss the coal on the ground, right click, there we go. Coal is made up of ignis and a new compound aspect, which is potentia. Potentia is, you know, energy or power. I will go and right-click on this torch, and I've learned that torches are made up of lux. And I'll go to cobblestone. Cobblestone is made up of perdicio and terra, basically broken earth. So, we learned a few compound aspects, and in the bottom right part of the screen, you see I've discovered a clue to new research, I've gained research points, I've learned new aspects, there's all kinds of information scrolling over there, and all this stuff is going to be in your Thaumonomicon. Right-click on that, 
you can see it's got this little um, little white effect over here telling me there's new stuff over here. There's new stuff and in basic information. There's should be some new stuff in alchemy actually, um, but I'm not because I shouldn't have been able to research nitor until I scan torches. So basic information, aspects of magic. Now I have lux and potentia. And those are my new compound aspects that I discovered from scanning those things. Potentia is a compound aspect made up of order and fire. Lux is a compound aspect of air and fire. So now that I've scanned items with those, I know about those. I can use that in my research. So let me check the time and see how we're doing on that. And if we have time, we'll start on Thomcraft research. Otherwise, we'll get to that next episode. Alright, I think we've hit a good wrapping up point. We're just over 20 minutes now, and 20 minutes is about where I like to keep my episode. So we'll cover Thalmcraft research in the next video. I went out and got what I think I need to do that. So next video, we'll start on Thalmcraft research and see if we can actually do something with Thalmcraft. Alright, see you next time.